So let's see. We have a manager's office, a personal... Whoa, we have our own office, you guys? We have our own space station office? Get out of here. Oh, check this out. I love it. Back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue the storyline. Uh, so I've spent a little bit of time off camera since the last episode and I purchased two uh, of the Parented Tethys uh, small miners. I, I went with those because they are the fastest of the three available small miners to us um, and also the least expensive too for the equipment that I got on them. Um, and so let's see, I got, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, if we go to the Parented Wharf here. And we go buy ships and we do the small and we do the Tethys Minor and then do the minimum preset OG. Um, this is 394. So I got the, the Mark II all around engine on it. Uh, which gives our uh, gets our speed to 352, which is pretty fast. Uh, I just put a cheap thruster on it, but I also put the ha the Mark III shields on it too, just so you know it's tough and it can it can get away from enemies. And my default global setting is for these ships to just run away from from enemies, anyways. Um, so that should give them enough shield to get away from them. Uh, they have just one Mark I mining drill and a full uh, service crew for software. Um, we have all the mandatory stuff and a trading computer extension. And I'm not even sure if this is necessary for the AI controlled chips, but um, I put it on there anyway. Uh, okay, so yeah, we have two of these so far. I have one of them working in uh, up here in Hatikva's Choice doing silicon. There's quite a bit of ore up here. Um, there's both, uh, well, ore and silicon. Um, so there's a place to sell both the ore and the silicon here. Um, I still have my big miner, or I guess I should say my medium-sized miner working in Grand Exchange. They pretty much just stay there all the time because, again, you can sell both ore and silicon here. And then I put the second Tethys uh, in... 18 billion, I think. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, and ha I have it working on ore. So the idea behind these ships are that we're going <coughs> to... Excuse me. Their primary uh, purpose is to make... Um, to train. To train pilots up for us. Um, and then, you know, of course, they'll make a little bit of money too, but it's mostly... They're mostly there to, to train pilots. Okay, so... Uh, I'm getting a little bit concerned about the station here in Eonymous, Zuri. It is really getting pounded by the Xenon. Um, and I don't want that station to go away because it's a trading station, A. And we might, we might need to do something about that. And we might be able to do something about that after this episode. Um, I have it on... Well, let me put it this way. <laughs> One of you guys left me a comment, and you basically said, maybe maybe take the storyline a little further before you buy a big ship. And that's all they said. They didn't say anything more. But that what that implies, of course, is that some, coming up here pretty soon is apparently the, sh the game's going to give us a, 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 big, a bigger ship, uh, maybe a frigate, I don't know, or a gunboat or something like that. So if we can get a hold of that... Um, then we can maybe, you know, use that to go try and take that Xenon station down. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, uh, undock from here. Uh, we're just sitting near the gate going into Black Hole Sun. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Not sure what I did, but yeah, you're welcome. And I also have my Eclipse, and, or I'm sorry, my Elite and my Pegasus um, formed up on me as, as wingmen just to help with this this next part of the storyline 
in case uh, we need their assistance. And so yeah, let's um, head on into Black Hole Sun. And oh, I also want to make this our um, active mission, escape plan. So this is the main storyline, so set to active. And uh, what, I, apparently we're supposed to go help break a Boso uh, out of his his confinement from the split who are holding him prisoner. Okay. I don't know if I told you that guys this or not. I might have in the last episode, but we now have um, bolt casters uh, on the weapons on here. So we've upgraded that a little bit. I need to, I also want to get a Mark II um, docking computer on the Falcon here, but I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Entering system, black hole sun. Okay, so let's head I this way. I must admit, I am beginning to feel a bit tense. I do hope this goes to plan. I have further refined the plan. Please take a look. You further refined the plan. Okay. So we need to go over here. And we're going to liberate our boron friend. My wingmen are with me, right? Oh, they're, they're dragging, lagging behind a little bit. Okay, is, oh, is this the ship? Cerberus Sentinel. Ooh, that's a frigate, I think. Doesn't know anything about storage or a crew. All right, let's approach this. It's got shields on it, too. I wonder if it's, um, how well equipped it is. What's it say? Start the capturing tutorial to learn about taking over a ship. Oh, nice. Okay, so it looks like this is this is what you guys were talking about in the comments. Um, here, let's get get a little closer to it. Oh man, this is cool. Frigate dudes, dudes and dudettes. I love it. This this one uh, has a docking bay too, because we were looking at this ship um, a few episodes ago, and I was considering considering it. Very cool. Okay, so it wanted us to start that tutorial. So, um, capturing ships, I think it was the one. You can board this tutorial, the tutorials me and help menu. Okay. Use the menu to get up, get up. Okay, get up. Walk to the exit and interact with the panel. Greetings. Greetings. Falcon Sentinel. Use the spacesuit. Activate scan mode. Carefully navigate towards the ownerless ship. Okay. I hear a radio signal somewhere. Sounds like it's over here, maybe by the bridge. Carefully, yeah, that's what we're doing. I don't know how careful we are, but we're doing it. Reputation gained, faction argon. Oh, that's that's for a trade. Okay, so where's this radio signal? Sounds like we're pretty close to it. Oh, there it is, right down there. Okay. So, are we effectively like unlocking the hatch? Is that is that what this is all about? The ship is now owned by you. Right on. You can either you you can enter either the new or old ship personally. Okay. 
Assign a captain to give remote commands. Tutorial completed. Cerberus Sentinel docking granted. Oh yeah, baby. We got ourselves a new Cerberus Sentinel, ladies and gentlemen. For free! Thanks, Boso. How did he arrange this? <laughs> Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Check this out, you guys. Fantastic. Okay, so um, we sh we should be able to we should be able to tell the Falcon to whoa, what's the Falcon doing? Where's he going? Falcon Sentinel. We should be able to tell him to defend us. Well, no, let's actually have him attack joining squad with us because if we if we have to get into a fight we're probably gonna have have to do an escort or something to get bozo out of here and then these guys can help us with that that's kind of why i brought them along okay cool so what does this ship have let's take a look ship information um let's go to loadout oh we got plasma cannons okay nice we got four turrets we got Looks like three bolt turrets and one pulse turret. Capacity for 12 drones. We have two flares, three Mark II laser towers and four Mark I laser towers. Some mines, some tracker mines. 20 normal mines. Looks like we only have a Mark I shield generator. And Mark II engines, so we might want to look at upgrading those at some point. A Mark II docking computer, that's good. Mark II long-range scanner and the rest of that stuff is just Mark I. Okay, so this ship is actually fairly well equipped. We're, we're going to want to probably beef up the engines and the shields for sure. Maybe change the weapon load out a little bit, but, you know, considering the price, <laughs> not bad, man. Not bad. Okay, so... It doesn't have any missile launchers, that's the thing, so I'll probably want to get some missile launchers. Um, here, let's remove those. Okay, cool. Um, we want to find a captain then for this ship. So let's go to... Let's go to here. And we already have personnel management. We want to go to captain. And then sort this. Okay, so... What is our, or who rather, is our next best captain? Uh, we don't want to pull anybody off the vultures, because those are our traitors. We want to pull off the miners. Our Pegasus captain is a two-star. So we could put him on here. Because the Pegasus is kind of... You know, it's just my running around ship anyway. So it doesn't necessarily have to have a really high level captain. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we, we do that. So let's let's go here. Work somewhere else for me. Um Cerberus Sentinel as captain. Assign. Okay. Now let's take this. Oh, you're already on the Pegasus. Okay, let's just promote you to captain then, or promote to pilot. There. Okay. See that? We want we want to have a pilot on the Pegasus. So cool. All right. Let's um. Let's go. Oh. There you go, Greetings. man. Greetings, Captain. Cerberus, Sentinel. Tamakin Slan, or however you say that. Can, Can I, I give help? you a seminar? No, he said he's already a two star. I think I want to save the management ones for station managers. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Nifty. Okay, so what's the next thing here? Um, let's go here and go to our mission. 
set that back to active and then what are we supposed to do fly fly to black hole sun 4 oh looks like it wants us to go a little bit further okay let's do it um i i'm gonna actually do the flying for now buddy oh don't worry you'll get plenty of plenty of opportunity we well we're gonna have to crew this ship up too but i'll i'll do that off camera Okay, so let's see. Wow, this is this handles really nicely for a big frigate. That's that's amazing. That's really uh, really agile for a big ship. Nice, I love it. An army. I have further refined the plan. Okay. Please take a look. Take a look at the plan. Okay, let's take a look at the plan. Wait for a ship to launch and then As escort you can see, a ship. I wish to escape the station via a chartered freighter. Uh, we are going to have to do an escort mission. There are okay. There actually multiple ships involved. As to confound anyone wishing to track me, I would like you to protect any ship which should get into trouble. Okay. So what ship are we protecting? Oh, that one. Okay. All right. Well, escort mission. Oh, you know what I also want to do is here. Let's um. Ides Vanguard. Let's match speed, and then I want all my turrets to attack my current enemy for now. And uh, yeah, okay. And then my fighters. My fighters should be set to attack also my enemy. Um, if we go to here, oh, the Falcon's set to attack, but these guys are set to defend. So let's set these to attack too. Uh, there we go. Okay, so everybody's going to attack. So whatever I target is going to get absolutely... Oh, we got we got to catch up to this guy. Please wait for the ship to conclude its business. Oh, he's... Okay, he's shortly. docking at the station. That's good, because I wasn't paying attention. Man, I am really surprised how agile this ship is for a, for a frigate. Nice. It feels pretty good. All right, so I guess this guy's got to dock and do, do his business, and then when he's done, he'll take off, and we're probably at some point going to get attacked by enemies. That's usually how these escort missions go. Let's take a look at our ship, uh, our exterior view. Please protect this ship from any harm. While it is a decoy, so I would cool looking. no harm comes to the crew. Okay, here, let's get back to business here. We've got to protect our, our boy here, or our girl as the case may be. This crew, cruise is pretty good for a frigate too, on impulse power. 245 meters per second and climbing. That's not bad. Okay, let's do match speed. And I guess we'll just wait until the attack comes. Which it, it inevitably will. So yeah, we're going to have to take this back to the Argon Wharf. I am successfully aboard my transport and en route to the installation. Where is the boron? I will check security logs. So... Is oh, that didn't take long at all. It seems my disappearance has been noticed. You mean Bozo's not I on this ship? my ship is at a safe distance. I can't say the same for the others. Please be alert. I will order our ships to intercept targets. Does that mean he's not on this ship? You 
will join them while I investigate further. Hmm. Yes, I wonder brother. why he wants us to protect this ship and not the one he's on. That's weird. Okay. I mean, I guess he said he didn't want collateral damage, but he's the most important. Speed back just a smidge. I've successfully docked. I will begin my work. He's already there? This structure is far more important. Well, that didn't take long. Than I expected. Okay. So do we still have to protect this dude? Escort ship out of sector. Okay, so I guess we have to. Wait till it leaves the sector before we're finished with this mission. All right, well, that's what we'll do then. Man, I'm so stoked that we got the frigate. Those are the plasma beams. Plasma, whatever, plasma launchers. Don't know that you would call them beams. Plasma balls. Alright, no enemies? Easiest escort mission ever, or is something gonna happen here pretty soon? No chance. No chance of what? To die. Oh, okay, now it's on. All right. Sentinel. Discoverer. Vanguard. Oh yeah, go baby. You are so toast. Okay, let's get the next one. Vanguard. Um, they fixed the targeting too, which is great. I think I might have mentioned that in the last episode, but here, let's take that. Whatever it is. Okay, go, 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 go. You are dead, man. Awaiting orders. Nice. Okay. I uh, I love the power of the ship compared to what we've had so far. So cool. All right, we dropped some. Uh, there was some more loot that was dropped somewhere. I don't know where it is now. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, we need to keep escorting our guy in case more enemies come. We wrecked those dudes. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. It's so nice that my targeting's working Rocket. again. Sentinel. Glad well, they fixed that. You guys, one of you guys told me in the comments that they fixed it in the last update, but I actually read the patch notes and I, I noticed that they had said something about fixing targeting, so I assumed it was this. Very cool. All right, looks like um they're getting close to the gate here, so it shouldn't be too much longer. <clears throat> I like my falcon. Scan away. Hey, I'm a, I'm a police officer too. You can't scan me. Alright, 
we're getting close to the gate. And they're through. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, dock an unknown station. So it wants us to go back to our our place. We shall do that. Get a little external view going on here. Ooh, there's a big mammoth sitting in front of the gate. We're going to get ourselves one of those one of these days. Entering Black Hole Sun 5. There she is. Look at that, you guys. That is fantastic. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get the shields upgraded and the engines. You know, I might... I might just go with Mark III engines. I know they're a lot more expensive for not a whole lot more gain, but dudes, this is our first big ship, so I don't think we're going to hold anything back on this one. For cheaper ships like the, you know, like the ones that we um, bought to do my minor training, definitely doesn't make sense to do Mark III's on something like that. But for this ship, this is like our, our granddaddy big boy ship for now until we get something bigger so we're gonna give it the best of the best I really like the look of it too it's a sleek looking frigate okay oh did we get pulled out of travel looks like we did uh, I'm not sure I, I want to go with this turret loadout what I might do is take away the pulse laser and one of the bolts and put two ion blasters on there just you know just to get shields down quicker maybe I don't know we'll see I have to think about that and then for our main guns I might switch out the plasma guns for missile launchers. So I really want to have missiles. Of course, plasmas plasmas are are pretty good. I mean, those are for taking out big ships and even stations. They're not really ideal for fighters because they're just so slow. Hey, there's our trader. Vulture Sentinel. Vulture 3. Let's say hi to our trader. Can I help? How's it going, dude? Goodbye. Over and out. Keep on working hard. Working hard for our corporation. Oh, that reminds me. In the next episode, we're going to we're going to do we're going to make some changes around here in terms of our corporation, our ship design, logos. I got plans for that, uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. I was asked to drop my cargo. Don't drop it, just get away from him. Look at that, you guys, we're up to nine million. Woohoo! There's a Talati trader. Entering system. Grand exchange. Grand exchange. Okay. We haven't been back to our own station in a while. I guess I could take autopilot off to turn. Turn makes it a little easier. So I guess we're going to go meet Bozo. Boso. Are my guys with me? Um, they're, yeah, it looks like they're, they're coming. They're kind of taking their own sweet time about it, though. 
Oh, we gotta jump to another sector. Subsector. Before we actually get to the station. Alright, so I'll meet you guys over there. You know what occurred to me is I should I should have um our pilot do this so they can be getting some XP. Hello. Hello. Cerberus. Oh, I had my my throttle pushed forward. I was going why why must my guy keep running? All right, let's have yeah let's have him fly there so. You can get some level, level in action going. So if I just tell you to... Proceed with current orders. You should... Something out here. A lockbox? Oh, you know what? I guess he doesn't... I guess he doesn't have orders. Um, how do I get him to follow the guidance? Do I just go start guidance to object? No, that doesn't work either. All right, well, I mean, if nothing else, I can just tell him to dock. I guess that's what we have to do. So, dock and wait. Is he... Wait, what? Dock and wait. Okay. This is why these pilots need training. <laughs> Remove all orders. Okay. Now, go to the unknown station and dock and wait. There he goes. Okay. Takes a little while there, buddy. Access gunnery control. Access navigation console. Oh, does this give us control of the turrets? Uh, it doesn't appear to. Oh, that would be cool if you could control the turrets. Yeah, it doesn't appear to. Okay. I was asked to drop my cargo. And did you flip them off and just run away? That's what you're supposed to do. That's the global rule. Um, why can't I sit in this chair? I don't know. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get some, some crew hired up for this ship and get it all decked out. Might even want to put some Marines on here. So, how many crew can we have on this? Let's take a look. See here. If we go to ship information and we go to crew it's like we can have 12 so 11 plus the captain yeah so maybe we'll put i don't know like four marines on and six or seven uh crew that sounds like a good idea entering when you land enter the elevator okay he wants us to go to the elevator can we like walk out on the deck there? Oh. I can't. Wait a minute. I can't like access anything now. What the heck? Um, Houston? My mouse button's not working. That's weird. Yeah, because I, I couldn't, um, 
It won't let me get into that chair. It won't let me talk to him now. What in the blue blazes is happening here? Might have to do a restart. I don't know why it's not letting me, um... Unless, did I... Change, like, a mouse mode or something? On accident? Doesn't seem to... Whoops. Be doing anything. If I go into my menu, can I select stuff? Yeah, I can select stuff in the menu. Oh, for Pete's sake. Alright, well... Let's just, um... Let's just wait till he, till he docks, and then if I have to uh, reload, I have to reload. So I'll see you guys at the station. Our Tethys miner guy said he was waiting orders. Does that mean he doesn't have a place to sell? I think it was Tethys 2. Information. Behavior. No, it looks like he's busy. Okay, was it the other one? Oh yeah, it is him. Alright, let's change him to ore then. He must have he must have exhausted all the silicon trades he can do there. Okay. Out of curiosity too. Um what kind of money are these guys making? Alright, twelve thousand, twelve thousand, twelve thousand. Why isn't Tethys one making us any money at all? Tethys, Tethys, Tethys. He hasn't made a single sale. Alright, well, hopefully he will now. I don't know what happened there. Did something wrong, I guess. He's on local auto mine. Here, let's remove that command. Oh, we're docking here. Um, easy with my new frigate there, man. Go to science library. You definitely need some more flying lessons. Don't scratch the paint on either my station or my ship here. Cerberus, Sentinel. Oh, now I can highlight stuff. Okay. So I wanted to see, can I go... Is, is this the dock area of the frigate? Oh, yeah, it is. Check this out. Oh, that's cool. I can walk out on the dock of the of the frigate. Love it. Okay. So let's go to our station here. And we have to go talk to or go to the science lab. So we'll follow the yellow brick line here. Science laboratory. Hey, Boso! Uh -huh. At last, we meet face to face. Right on, dude. It's good to see you. Okay, let's go talk to him. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Wow. Hello there! Uh, what can I help with? Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. How about we get an autosave? Okay, so, um, it says access research menu is that up here oh yeah this is new we didn't have this before did we i don't think we did oh, as neat. you can see 
There is much to do. I personally find mention of this teleportation irresistible, but I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. Okay, so teleportation, what is that all about? It appears some Terran technology was being used to research teleportation over long distances. So he said Terran technology. So is he saying this is, in, in fact, a Terran station? We, we kind of thought maybe it was. I don't know if it is or not. Okay, so what? Uh, this will allow teleportation of an individual over a limited range. All right. That could come in handy. What's this? Dark module hack? This will allow you to gain blueprints by scanning leaks on certain modules. Well, that's possibly of steel dark module blueprints. Ooh. Okay, what's this? Production module hack. Possibility to steal production module blueprints. Storage module. Storage module blueprints. Okay. That could be handy. Basic chassis mod? If we wish to improve the fundamental capabilities of a ship, we must first be able to tear it apart and put it together again. For that, we will need nanite technology. Acquire nanites. Oh, nifty. Okay. So this might be making lighter and stronger chassis for the ships kind of idea, I'm thinking. To help us develop effective engine modifications, we must be sure to have the best in antimatter sensor technology. You may expect the best to come from the scientific world, but no. It was the racing leagues who pushed sensors to new heights. Huh. Nice, man. Fast and the Furious. Okay. To best develop shield technologies, you must first understand warfare. We will need to submit a craft to the rigors of real combat. Acquire weapon damage data. Ooh, that should be interesting. Crash test dummy. Basic weapon mods. I suggest we acquire a number of particle regulators so I can better test weapon components in a controlled environment. <coughs> Oh, this is going to be fun, man, doing all this stuff. Okay, so um, he said to go with teleportation first, and I don't see why not. So what does this stuff do? Station configuration, logical station overview, transaction log research. It's just another logical station overview. I think. When we start adding, like, production facilities, then that shows up here, and then we can kind of manage it and make sure that it's got all of its prereqs and stuff. I think that's what that's for. Okay, well, anyway, let's go ahead and it activate appears. some Terran technology this. being used to... I will need some materials to get started. So he's going to need 100 advanced electronics and 2,000 energy cells. All right, so we'll pull one of our vultures off trading temporarily to grab this stuff and bring it over here. So we can start this. Very cool. Okay. Um. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what else do we got? What's this? Nothing in particular, just some cool readouts. Look at the view. So neat. What about this? <gasps> Safe deposit storage oh we can oh this is great we can store our inventory stuff in here like our illegal stuff for example okay so let's let's do that so space fly eggs all right everything else i think we'll just keep with us unless we get to a point where we're maxed out on the inventory oh that's crew cool <laughs> it's kind of like a a bank pneumatic cylinder i love it all right, Boso. Hey, man, it was great to meet you, and uh, we'll 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 bring that stuff back so we can get you researching, dude. Hello there. Goodbye there. Okay. Um, I'm digging this, man. Digging this. So let's see. We have a manager's office, a personal. Whoa, we have our own office, you guys. We have our own space station office. Get out of here. Oh. Check this out. I love it. This is really cool. <laughs> we got our own office, you guys. Ooh, and our own boost, too. Priorities. Um, We can sit in our chair and manage our station. Oh, this is neat. I love this. 
looking forward to this, man. Okay, cool. Um, all right, anything else on the on our own station that's different than a normal station? Let's go look again. Does this do anything, or is this almost looks like a jukebox or something? What are those fire extinguishers? Kind of looks that way. Okay. Uh, so we have a manager's office. We've already been to the science laboratory. We got a security office. These probably look just like they do in the normal stations, I'm guessing. Uh oh. I can't move. What the hell's going on with my game? Now I can't move. And the mouse isn't working either. My feet are moving, but I'm not moving. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Well, that's the manager's office, I guess. Uh, we probably have to go into a side room, but I can't... Uh, I can't move. Piss me off. Okay, well, somehow or another we got too close to our fire extinguishers and got stuck. All right, well, I guess we're going to wrap up the episode here, and then I'll probably have to reboot the game. Uh, but this was fun, man. I really enjoyed this episode and really enjoyed getting a new frigate. So let's see. Let's talk about the plan coming up here. Um, I'm going to take the frigate up to Argon Prime to the wharf. We're going to upgrade. We're basically going to max it out. We're going to get the best of the best on it because I can. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do that. Um, we might. Can I get into my map? Yeah. We might. I'm very concerned about this. I do. I don't want that station to get lost, um, and it's going down. So we might need to run over there after we get our our ship decked out, and see if we can do something about this. Um, now I don't know if if these guys destroy this Talati station, does it respawn later on, or is it just gone for good? Because I'd really hate to lose that, you know, because we can use that for for trading in the future. So I think we need to go maybe try and rescue those guys after we get the frigate going. And then after that, um, we'll, we'll grab that stuff for Bozo so he can start the teleportation research. And we might then at that point start thinking about looking at uh, starting to build out our station. Um, and I think the first thing we'll do is solar cells because... Can I move now? Nope, still can't move. Um, do solar cells. Can I crouch? It sounds like I'm crouching and jumping, but I'm not actually moving. So anyway, that's the plan. And um, so with that, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.